guys, Northwoods Outdoors here. Uh, we got a new appearance on my channel. We got uh, the RC Adventures or MN Outdoors here with us today. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Hey, we're gonna be uh, headed out. We're gonna do some fishing tomorrow morning into the later afternoon hours. Hopefully gonna pick up on my special lake. He's gonna take him there, see how he likes it. Hopefully it won't be junk tomorrow. It's been pretty good in the last few days for my resources of who's been out there on the lake. So hopefully, we should be able to slam in some northerns and smack them bass tomorrow. Otherwise today we're just gonna rig up a tip up rig, get it ready to go, make sure all our fishing stuff's ready, and uh, trade trucks off for my grandfather and we'll be uh, ready for in the morning. We'll get back to you probably tonight on Kurt's tip up rig and how that's gonna rig up. And then otherwise from there, we will uh, see you in around 7.30 in the morning on the water. Have a good one guys. Here again with the, uh, um, MN Outdoors with my cousin Kurt. Uh, we're going to be doing a little uh, tip up rig video on my cousin's tip ups here. One of them, just an Arctic fire. Oh shit, it's missing a, missing a nut, but that's mm. not really needed, anyways. <laughs> I guess this tip up would just be a fun one. The fish don't break, but uh, hey, it's one of his dad's tip ups. He kind of just says piss on everything. But tip up seems to be functioning properly so we're going to spool it up with some I don't got any tip up line but I got some uh, Cajun line 50 pound test non-sponsor but locally uh, bought that's what I like to do locally buy stuff support your uh, local businesses I got some uh, for the bottom of the rig here we got some beads that a little bit of vibration and along to go with a bunch of vibration some Colorado blades and four different colors Pick one I like, and then rig it up with just a regular hook. So here we go today. I'll show you a little bit of that. Don't need a lot of this line, but we just need a little bit, just enough to get us going. So I'm gonna do the honors here. Let's give her a tie, and uh, hopefully, um, what our plan is tomorrow is to head out to my special lake, go and see if we can get on a good bite of northerns here before the ice starts going out, which really shouldn't be too long from now. I'm just going to grab a quick cutter and snip that quick. I can't cut 50 pound test with my teeth. Or it's really not recommended. It's not like a 10 pound test where you can just nip that stuff. Which is still not recommend. I remember getting a kitchen shears or something just to snip it because that stuff's pretty. I mean, that's pretty thick diameter stuff. I mean, you can see that thing from a mile away. But northerns don't care because northerns gonna suck up whatever sucker minnow or whatever's on here. Uh, for the, at this point, we are actually gonna be rigging up with some uh, shiner minnows. Uh, I'm going to pick those up in the morning so they're nice and fresh. Figured that would be the best way instead of getting them tonight and having them try to sit in a five gallon pail. And yeah, it ain't going to work very well. So, like my other video, except for I used actual tip up line on it, I'm just going to rig this up quick. Put a few, maybe about 25 or so yards of it on just so we have enough. So, if she decides to take a big run, should have enough on there, I'm assuming. If not, it's 50 pound test. Just yank the sucker in. Shouldn't break on 50 pound test, so. And if this one, since it's just off the, just the model, I'll just run this one just straight up. I won't even back it with any of the uh, fluorocarbon. I'll just rig this up with a hook and hopefully it should be ready to go. We're gonna put out as many tip ups as we can legally have, which I believe in the state of Minnesota is two per person, so we can put out four. But just in case some people join us or whatever, we can just throw another two tip ups. That's why we bring them out. So it's preparation for the long haul. Coming to the eyes, so I'd say that's enough. Let's cut that out a little bit. Snip it off here in the middle and. 
Look at that, even the kitchen shears is saying, oh, screw, screw that, it's a big line. So I'm just gonna kinda straighten up this tip a little bit. Not recommended to use your teeth, but. It's all right. We're just gonna rig this up with the Colorado blade. And whatever color I decide to fit is necessary. And yeah. Colorado blade it. Put on a bead or two just to get a little bit more oomph. And then should give it a little bit extra rattle. Um, preferably, what I found in wintertime fishing that works the best for colors is I'd get a hammered look. Put your hammered look. This is just your regular finish. There, that's like his regular finish. Here's your hammered silver. Here's your hammered silver. Kind of has little ripples and bumps to it. So it'll kind of give it a little shimmer and shine and different. Uh, uh, depending on how you're looking at it, it'll kind of give it a different kind of... Kind of give it a different kind of look to it. Depending on how which way the fish is looking at it. So it should help with that aspect. And, um, so I'll just probably just put a, that one looks pretty good in the bronzish color or copper, bronze, copper, same thing. Just where are you from? So I'll just put that bronze blade on, on the line, put a two or odd so little red, little We need to try the shears just one more time just to clean that up. That should be a lot better. Got to cut evenly one time. So then we're just going to feed the beads through the hole. Well, if I can, I'm kind of trying to look on the camera at the same time. It's a little hard. Like I said, just feed the beads through the hole, pull them up, put another red one on, through the hole. And those are the red ones. Not a sponsor. Supporting local local business. Put two purple ones on just to give a little bit of extra. Slide the same thing through the hole and come up in here and pull it through the hole. And then with that, we uh, snap open my concealed container. Slide out one of these wide gap hooks. Slide out one of these wide gap hooks. I'm going to bring you up to me. Slide one of these wide gap hooks out. And I'm going to hope that the hole is going to be big enough that I can double feed it. But if I can't, I'm going to go to a different knot if I can't double feed it. I'm hoping that I can just squeak it by. I'm going to pull on the main line. There, just pull on against me a little bit. I got it. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna slip. Hold you down. Pull on a little bit more. There you go. Line ball from the backside down line. There we go. Now it's gonna make a loop. So we're just gonna kind of pull it somewhat tight. I'm gonna go up the main line a little bit. Do a few individual wraps, maybe about four times or so, four or five, like that. And I made a loop because I hold it up here. Feed your may tag in back through it. Don't get hooked in the process. Moisten with a little bit of saliva. And then pull on your main line. And up this little bit thicker line, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But this stuff really don't slip. Pull that until it looks nice and snug. Ouch, that part is sharp as shit. Hmm. It's poking me. And that looks pretty good. Let's go. One little snug tighten in here. 
Owie, owie. Look at that. Dug into my nail and it hurts like a... Look at that. Chipped her. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Oh, yeah, you can. A little chip there. Dug it. But there, now it's tight. I would not recommend using very, very heavy pound tests, but that's all we that we had available. Cut off a little tag in there. And then we got the Colorado blade on there. And then when you spin it, it jiggles and then it bounces around just to give the action of the bait just a little bit more. So that's good there. And then other two tip ups. Are just going to refer back to just my regular rigging of the fluorocarbon about two to three feet of it depending on what fits your fancy run that off of a barrel swivel to a little hook and that would be the end of that so that is the next plan we won't show you that because it's the same in my tip up rig video so if you haven't seen that i'd go to my channel and go look at that because that'd be something to watch otherwise north Hills outdoors and mn outdoors signing off for the day we'll uh, catch up with you in the morning on our way out to the lake so Take care. Have a good one. Outdoors, Hammond Outdoors. We're out here roughly approximately. It is about 8.10 in the morning. 8.29, well, a little later. The walk took us a little bit. We walked into the uh, back farm pond here. We're going to head out. We're going to uh, go slice some freaking... Go slice some northerns this morning, hopefully. And we'll get back to you. And we got our holes punched. So, Northwoods Outdoors, signing out. Hopefully a great vid. Open water that way. Fuck that, bud. Outdoors here with MN Outdoors. We uh, just finally set up here at about nine o'clock. We're finally set up. We got a few tip ups out this morning. Got one down there, one there, one here, and one to our right side. So we're just gonna sit up, wait for them. Hopefully they're biting this morning. We'll get back to you when the line's tight. Look, Northwoods Outdoors, backing of Kurt on MN Outdoors tribute. Uh, there's some more people coming out on the lake than what we have seen in previous shows got a bunch of people over here there's probably about a school of about 20 of us now we have uh the gentleman over there fishing they're actually buddies of mine so they gave us one of their fish so i could take it home and eat her up uh, otherwise we had two of our own flags go off back to back from each other my tip up got all screwed up and just jiffed and then kurtz we missed sucked her dry and then i fish pro is still where it is otherwise we've relocated uh two tip-ups and we got one pike from a gentleman he's about 25 inches so we're gonna get back to you when the flag tips hopefully this time Northwoods Outdoors uh, just to give you a little update here um the video I'm just making is about 13 minutes long it's gonna be a lot longer than that if I add both uh, I'm gonna split it up in two parts part one and a part two part one is kind of getting the setup showing what we're doing picking up Kurt and then going over the tip-up setups, where we set our locations, how much depth, and then part two will be actually catching a few fish and having some mishaps along the way. So, watch part one, and remember to watch part two. I will uh, have them uh, named up there so you know which one is which, and hopefully enjoy the vid. See you on the next one.